What's going on guys, Matt with MotoWorks here, and in this video, we're going to diagnose the charging system. <laughs> That's right guys, this bike here, in the last video you saw, wasn't charging the battery correctly, it was putting out too many volts to the battery, and it was causing the motorcycle to not want to rev up, unless you use some of those extra volts for another function, i.e. the horn or the start button. video we're gonna go over the proper way to diagnose a charging system and we're gonna fix this motorcycle so that it charges the battery properly and the bike works as it should all right guys to get started on this job let's go over the stuff we're gonna be using a I highly recommend getting a service manual for the bike that you are working on so get a service manual for that bike we'll also be using a multimeter Make sure that it measures in volts AC, volts DC, and ohms. Those are what we're going to be checking on the charging system, so make sure you get a multimeter that does all those things. And we're also going to be using some hand tools because we have to gain access to the various components on the bike to check over and make sure they're functioning properly. That's the stuff we need to get started. Let's go ahead and tear the motorcycle apart. And I believe that means it's time for a music montage. All right, so these are the stator wires here. Now what we need to do before we diagnose them is we first need to unplug and inspect the plug. A lot of times, these get really hot because you're dealing in uh, high voltage that passes through these connectors and a little bit of corrosion or loose contact between these uh, male and female plugs creates a lot of heat and a lot of times that can be your issue. So what you want to do is inspect this and make sure that these plugs are not melted and these here look good. Again, another thing to check would be the wires. Make sure they're still um, pliable and they move. They're not hard and brittle. Um, this all feels and looks good. Now I'm going to show you how to actually check uh, the output of the stator. All right, now this bike here has a three-phase charging system. That just means it has three wires that come off of the stator. Typically, they're going to be yellow wires. Uh, I've seen in other instances where these wires can be black. Some aftermarket staters use uh, different colors. And all we want to do first is just check to see if this these wires are shorting to ground. Because if these wires are shorting to ground, they're not sending the voltage where it needs to go. So all we have to do to check that is put our multimeter on ohms and I like to do the ohms that makes noise because it's it'll be audible for you guys to see all right so we test it first and then all we do is we find a good ground which a battery ground is good but what we're want, what we want to check is to make sure it's not grounding out to the engine so we're actually going to test one of the bolts on the engine and see if it's grounding out through any of those bolts. So all we do is we find one of the plugs here and we check. Again, recheck. It does make noise when it's got continuity. So we'll go to the next one. We'll check. And then we'll go to the final one and we'll check. All right, none of these wires are shorted out to ground. So the next thing we'll do is we will test the output of this stator. Now all we're going to do is we're going to move our voltage AC 
VAC to somewhere about 200 volts uh, because the stator puts out alternating current or basically the same type of current you have at the house. So AC voltage is what's produced by the stator. So we can measure that by just taking our, our tool here and measuring between two of the wires here. And then we'll start the bike up and we will measure the output voltage of the stator. Now, as long as those are equal across each plug, so I check these two together, I check that one and that one, and then I check that one and that one. As long as you're getting an equal amount of voltage, which I believe there was about 80 volts of alternating current, uh, that means that it's putting out the proper voltage and you don't have a dead coil, if you will. Um, so that checks out good. That's how you test a stator. Um, this one here looks good. So I suspect our issue is all in the regulator rectifier. All right guys, so that's how you test a stator on a motorcycle. And the rule of thumb for me at least is if the stator checks out and it passes all those tests, which that one did good, it wasn't shorted out to the engine, and it was putting out equal volts uh, at each uh, plug, that stator was fine. Now the only thing left in the charging system is the regulator rectifier. So something inside that regulator rectifier either shorted out or isn't working properly. So that regulator rectifier is what the issue is. We need to put a new regulator rectifier on it. And then once we do that, we will retest the charging system. And I bet you that took care of the problem. This here on the left side of this bike is where the regulator rectifier is located. Again, what we want to do is we want to check that plug just like we did on the other one. And we want to make sure that it is not melted because that also could be in cause for uh, overcharging or undercharging the battery. And as you can see, this plug looks good. So the only thing left uh, in the uh, equation is this regulator rectifier. We're going to go ahead and put a new regulator rectifier on and put some music to it. All right guys, regulator rectifiers on. Let's see the result. guys that's how you diagnose the charging system as I said on this bike here we found that the regulator rectifier was bad once we put that new one in there this bike's charging just fine right about 14 volts right where it should be um, so this bike is back in action and ready to go I hope this video was helpful to anybody that had concerns on their charging system on their bike 
Uh, if it was, please smash that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed to the channel so far. Thank you. It's uh, definitely helping to make my YouTube dreams come true. Um, so with, with more subscribers, the, the more uh, videos I can get out for you guys. And I enjoy doing this stuff. So thank you to those of you who are subscribed. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. I'm Matt, this is MotorWorks, catch you guys later.